All right, so today we're going to talk about why time spent running is an important factor to consider when you're building your fitness short term, but especially long term. It's not just about the intensity you're running at. It's not just about the types of workouts you do. It's very much about how much time do you actually spend running each day, each week, each month, each year. And I would even argue that this might actually be the most important factor uh, when it comes to your long term fitness gains. Let's get into it. So the other day I was out for a run uh, as I am all the time <laughs> and I was thinking about you know it was just an easy run I was just running really really easy uh, it was almost kind of boring I was on the road and I was just sort of thinking about how many steps I'm taking you know in a day in a week in a year um, and I was sort of doing some calculations and I realized that over say a 10 year period you know some people say it takes 10,000 hours to become really good at something or you know it takes 10 years then I guess for for an for an elite level athlete to reach his or her potential so I was just thinking about it and I realized uh, there are millions millions and millions upon millions of steps involved in that 10-year process for me and there I was out just for an easy run a lot of a lot of steps basically and I realized how these are the steps that matter you know what I mean like sure you'll do workouts you'll do specific tempo runs and intro sessions on the track work on specific things but in the grand scheme of things the bread and butter so to speak as they say uh, of uh, 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 an endurance type training regimen is all of those easy miles easy kilometers it also of course includes higher paces and faster paces and even even anaerobic type work it also it's also included in time spent running but if you think about it if you head out for a hard session you can only do so much and you certainly can't do another hard session tomorrow again right you can't do hard sessions every day the body just can't recover from that so if you only did hard work you'd end up with a very low overall volume you wouldn't really acquire as many steps uh, in a year as if you made those steps really easy of course if you only do easy work then you sort of miss out on that top end uh, those top end adaptions that you get from faster paced work so that's important for sure but the mainstay of your running diet <laughs> your, your your main training and your main training benefits and training effects actually comes from spending as much time as possible running because you know your body adapts to whatever you ask it to adapt to so if you sit on the couch all day every day you, you basically get adapted to just sitting on the couch that's what you're telling your body that it needs to be adapted to so essentially as a runner at least an endurance runner uh, meaning essentially anything that lasts more than a couple of minutes it is aerobic in nature and that essentially means that it's all about the aerobic energy system which uses oxygen to metabolize fuels if you're talking about sprinting less than a minute well then we're into that anaerobic type training and it's not the, the sprinters need to focus more on that but anyone running for distances longer than two minutes so certainly 5k 10k half marathon marathon ultra marathon runners typically what we call endurance athletes includes rowers and it, it includes cross-country skiing and swimming even all of these athletes need to develop their aerobic system and those aerobic adaptions are things like uh, the size and density of mitochondria inside the muscle cells uh, it's things like uh, capillaries the blood vessels in the muscles fat adaption being able to burn uh, fat over carbohydrate at higher and higher intensities uh, there is this just a general development of the cardiovascular system in the heart uh, those are some of the typical uh, adaptions that happen as a result of endurance uh, aerobic training and these adaptions are essentially a function of time spent running meaning the more time the more minutes the more steps you take a as a runner uh, the more these particular adaptions will develop so it is in your interest to then run as much as possible and as I said you can't do that if the intensity is too high which is why 
the bread and butter, the staples of a runner's regimen should be all of those easy kilometers and miles because you'll be able to do more of them. Of course, at any given time in your career or in your day or in your week or in your month or whatever, in any given training cycle, uh, there's a limit to how much work you can tolerate, right? From a systemic point of view, in terms of your endocrine system and your recovery abilities, but also in terms of your musculoskeletal system, right? Your legs, your bones, your tendons, your muscles, how much impact can they tolerate in a, in a given amount of time? So for a fairly new runner, running 30 kilometers a week might be their upper you know, limit, even if it's all done easy. Whereas a more advanced runner might be able to do 150 miles uh, uh, in that same week. And so it is very individual and relative, but essentially if there is one sentence that I feel personally is very true uh, across the board, it is the more running you can do, the better. Okay, and this is why only 10 to 20% of any elite runner's um, regimen is higher intensity running. 80% of it is, is fairly easy. And of course, there's a, there's a range of easy, there's super easy recovery runs, and then there's sort of higher end aerobic runs where you're working pretty hard, but it's certainly still aerobic and certainly comfortable, right? And so whether or not you're a beginner or a more intermediate or an advanced runner, I urge you to consider time as a more important metric, if you will, than kilometers or miles, right? An elite athlete might cover 100 miles in 10 hours in a week, whereas uh, 10 hours for a beginner might just be half of that, right? Um, 80 kilometers. And in a sense, they're both getting a similar development of their aerobic system because of the time spent running. So if you're looking at that long term, and long term, remember, it could be just as little as three to six months, really. Even in three to six months, you'll get a great bang for your buck by developing your aerobic system. It's really the most important system that you need to focus on. But especially if you're looking at that really long term, like I am, 10 years type of time frame, you want to accumulate miles. You definitely want to accumulate hours. You want to accumulate steps as i mentioned in the intro uh, over those 10 years and the more you can do the better it is and i personally don't believe in such a thing as junk miles unless you're walking you know if you're if you're just walking then you're not going to be able to get your heart rate up to that point where you're stimulating those aerobic adaptions well enough you need to get up to a certain level typically uh, you know something like i don't know 60 percent of your max heart rate is pro sort of the lower end of that aerobic spectrum and then sort of goes all the way up to the lactate threshold which is typically around you know 80 to 90 percent of your max heart rate so that's a long that's a big range so you can have a lot of fun in there and run fast some days and slower other days and vary the paces and vary the terrain for sure you should uh, but it's all within that easy range and it allows you to accumulate time and especially if you're doing long runs etc it's really more about time than kilometers per se all right, that's it. Uh, let me know in the comments. Do you consider this? Have you considered this in your training before? Are you running by time or are you running by kilometers or miles? Make sure you subscribe, of course, if you haven't done so already. Check out some of my other videos on uh, similar topics like this. I'll put a link to a video somewhere here <laughs> and you can check it out. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye.